So you finally got your hands on a 4K monitor and you may be asking yourself, so how the heck do I use this thing? And therefore in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use and set up your 4K monitor without having the need to use a magnifying glass. Now the first thing that you're going to obviously do is connect your UHD monitor to your desktop computer or your laptop and that's really going to happen via a couple of 4K compatible connection interfaces such as DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, Thunderbolt or HDMI 1.4. Now once you have connected your monitor to your computer you can go ahead and crank up that resolution to that very impressive 3840 by 2160 and as soon as you do that you'll notice that everything becomes extremely tiny and the reason for this is the operating system is really scaling everything to a one-to-one -one pixel ratio which is certainly optimal for people who want the most desktop real estate possible but for most mere mortals we need a happy balance of a 4k experience that is easy to view and read on a traditional screen size and that delivers a decent amount of desktop real estate so now let's go ahead and configure our 4K display for our optimal viewing. We're going to go ahead and right click on the desktop, go to screen resolution settings, and here you'll find your screen resolution settings and what displays are connected to your computer. But at the bottom you'll see make text and other items larger or smaller. And when you click on that you'll notice a couple of different sizing options. These percentage values are basically our different DPI scaling options. Smaller is 100% which is a usually a one-to-one -one pixel ratio. So on our 4K display, that is a little bit too small for me. You can set it to 125 or 150 or even 200. I find that 150% works best for 4K displays that are around 28 to 30 inches. Now just below, you'll notice that we can even customize the sizing options even further. If you click on the custom size option setting, you'll notice that there's a ruler that pops up. And if you take a real life ruler or tape measure and set it towards inches you can actually scale the monitor dpi setting to actual real life dimensions and as you can see over here i can set it to about 160 percent and it pretty much is very exact to the inches that you see on the tape measure and this will probably be the best setting for my 4k monitor once you apply your scaling option it'll ask you to sign out and sign back in and once you do you'll notice that now everything is extremely clear of course watching it through the video you probably won't notice any difference because that's not going to really come across. You really have to experience this in real life to see that difference. Basically, what we have now done is done a pixel doubling effect in our entire OS. So most of the windows that you open up and icons and even pictures look very detailed and very, very crisp. This really makes 4K a very, very usable function where you actually experience your desktop and everything you're working on in a completely new and fresh way. And here's you can see we still have a lot of decent desktop real estate but we've enhanced the viewing experience quite dramatically now if you're using mac os 10 with a 4k monitor it's even easier to set up you basically go to your preferences and set up your resolution settings and here you have different scaling options where you can select your dpi scaling to be larger or closer to the native resolution of your monitor and you're really going to have to choose whatever fits your preference so I hope I helped some of you guys out there in setting up your 4K monitor and making it a little bit more usable. I'm sure there's a lot of people still out there who have some issues with uh, getting a 4K displays and I can certainly understand some of their reservations. Sure, the prices are coming down. Right now, this Samsung 4K monitor that we t tested out right now is actually going for $600, which is certainly not bad considering the price was double that just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, they're getting more and more competitive. But but still $600 for a decent 4K monitor is still a lot of money and not really affordable for most people. Furthermore, in this video, we covered how we can adjust the DPI scaling within the OS of Mac OS X and Windows. There's still not a lot of specific applications that have this feature. You're really stuck with one-to-one -one with some of those applications such as Photoshop or Premiere Pro After Effects. So therefore, we're gonna have to wait for those companies to kind of release updates for their software so you can adjust the DPI scaling level to your specific amount that you desire. But for the most part, we've been experiencing 
enhancing high DPI experiences on our displays in a mobile platform such as your smartphones and in your tablets. So why shouldn't your desktop computer experience be any different? And this is one of the uh, reasons why I do love 4K. And uh, to anybody who's looking towards a new monitor to put on their desk, I would highly suggest to go in, out there and find a 4K display and see if you can see the difference for yourself. But on that guys, if you like this video and it helped you out, please give us a thumbs up. Also check out our YouTube channel if you haven't already. But on that, we'll see you later. Take care.